45 days into carnivore and today I'm gonna make me some shrimps. And now I got these uh, right here, raw shrimp, easy peel, the vein, the shell on. That's what they look like right now. I gotta get them in the pan because it's getting hot. There. Whew. Get them in the pan. Let them go. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. In this, I got some uh, pork fat, a uh, pork belly grease, and some butter. So now my prawns have reached the, the um, savory sauce of the butter, and are now going to to uh, cook. But this is the other bag I just got out in case I didn't have enough to fill up that pan. And this is my lunch, and I got a little fork to flip them. I got my Redmond salt, but I don't think I'll use salt on the shrimp. And I've got my favorite beverage, black iced coffee. But it can't be just like a half coffee. It's got to be real coffee. Like not weak. It has to be, this is 100% uh, Arabica, you can see it's from the Wally Nut, Nut House. Ground coffee, dark roast. So that has that flavor. But it's a fermented bean. So the water runs over it. But what we're going to do here is we're going to cook them till they get pink. These don't, it doesn't take very long to cook this. And I know they're frozen. So people may say, what, well, they're frozen. But you know what? It's okay. Got a little grease bladder there from heating the oil up. But I noticed just a second ago that doing the carnivore diet, and it was on Reddit, that my elbows have gone from brown to pink. You know how you get that brown elbow and it's rough and dry? These are these are not. These they went soft. That's the craziest thing. The other thing I noticed is that the mosquito bites. That I got they used to get all swollen like the circulation was bad and now I would get a mosquito bite and it just makes a welt and then goes away so my body's able to handle it now because in the last couple of years there were times where I had to go to the doctor because they just got so bad that they would go septic and a trick for if they go that way is to get it under like scalding water where they bit under super hot water and then it draws all that antihistamine to it your body will do a dump in that area to try and look for injured skin. So that's a natural thing that I figured out to fix uh, bites, bug bites, if they were going to go septic. Oh, why is that thing beeping? It's still recording. All right. What else did I figure out? Uh, I started lifting. So I started lifting a few weights and feeling better. My tiredness is gone. Where, you know, after I would eat, that it would just be like I was tired. Uh, I saw a lot of people talk about skin tags, but last year I burned them off. I had some under my armpit that I'd had forever. And people were talking about that. Eating the carnivore diet helps you get rid of skin tags. But I don't have any skin tags to relay that information. Look how they're getting pink. It's starting to get a little pink there. I can get them manipulated in the pan a little better than when they were hard and crusty. They're still a little hard. It's okay. They'll get soft. The shell's on too, so it's not like it's... Let me see the little pink tails though starting. Starting right there. See that little tail? And their little legs are getting pink. See like that? Hoo hoo! Fancy schmancy! Look at, look at Todd go! He's turning into a shrimp cooker. The shrimp master. Shrimpinator. Get him back down in that nice hot, delicious, golden curative substance I, I promise I think that butter is the 
the um, thing that helps, at least me. I know people have other things, but I swear butter. Man, when I get the snack craving and stuff and I just take out the butter. Ooh, look, that one's getting good. And we got two more to flip over. That one. And this one here. We'll flip. So, that one's just a little, needs a little help. And you can see that the juice is cooled down because of the, um, frozen nature of the shrimps so we'll get me a plate because it's about lunch time <clears throat> and I'm not going to drain these of the butter or anything in fact I'll probably put the butter in a cup so I can dunk my shrimp in it as I eat my shrimps so let's do that Got me a little dish here now. And I can dump that golden, beautiful liquid into that cup and dunk my shrimp as I eat it. And who knows, at the end I may drink that beverage. <laughs> drink that broth. Mmm, it's good stuff, Mater. <clears throat> but these over here now, you can see are getting a little tight and I can feel that they're soft. You don't want to cook them too long or they're going to get rubber, rubbery. See, that one's still got a little gray in it. It's going to have to be in there. But you can kind of tell when they start splitting like that, that they're getting done. And that's where you'll peel them. It's right there on that vein. See, that one's peeled pretty good. So maybe we'll take that one. Let's give it one more flip. I know they're curling pretty good. like that. That one's probably done right there. We'll get that one out. How's that one looking? Not the greatest. Still working on a couple of these. That one's split. You can see that split along the back. Meaning it's getting done. <clears throat> Flip that one over so we can cook the other side and get it pink. I always bought the other shrimp but see when I would eat shrimp before I'd eat it with that cocktail sauce and that thing's loaded with sugar in fact I got a little cocktail sauce right here right here you can see look main ingredient high fructose corn syrup Ugh, get rid of that so you have that and then you drink a, a soda with it and man just look at all that sugar that you're pounding in just eating what you think is healthy but you're pounding in all that other stuff I mean you can drink oh that one's probably done so now we're moving along in the shrimp that one's probably done that one's split open curling a little bit what? Maybe get it out. There we go. And how's that one looking? It's working on it. That one's done. Well, maybe not. Just a big shrimp. This one's done. Look at that split. That one's split. Used to eat that all the time, but can't eat it with the sauce because that's all sugar. You know what I mean, Vern? This one's a big shrimp. So we gotta make sure it's cooked, but it's looking that, look how it's split. Well, not so much. Oh yeah, it is up on the top, split. How's that one look? See my pan's getting hotter. Yeah, a little bit more. But I think that big one's done getting a real good split on it. So I got these two left. I'm going to turn my heat off because it's just going to take a second for these. See how fast that was? It took us all 10 minutes to cook a nice big healthy carnivore meal over here. Delicious. 
delicious. In fact, I should put some salt salt in there. That'll help. So let's get a little Redmond's. I'll put some Redmond's in there. Then it can mix in with the butter. Because it was unsalted butter. I think that one's done. We'll take it out. Starting to cool down a little bit. This is the butter. Kerry Gold Pure Irish Butter, unsalted. And I put it down in there. All right, I think we're all done. Yeah, that was split. All right, so there's that, and I'm gonna dump this in this little dish or at the sink. There we go. Got my, got my meal. That's my lunch.